funky sides and professor tj and her sister nelly Wen. and today we have a cool experiment for you before we continue make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel But before we start, let us tell you something about this experiment. In this experiment, we will learn what happens when fast-moving air particles move between two objects. This experiment will show how air pressure works between two different objects. In this experiment, you will need balloons, string, a ruler. And remember kids, Always have an adult present as you're doing this experiment. Safety first! All the time. So then ready? Yeah. Ready to start? Mm -hmm. So, you're going to blow up my balloon. Mm -hmm. Blow one and then I blow the other. Okay. They should be about the same size. Are they the same size? Yours looks bigger. Or are they the same? Can I do this? Okay, you know how to tie it into a knot? Yeah. Okay. This is where it's tough for me. Woohoo! Yay, I've tied it into a knot! I know. <laughs> cool. So then what we're going to do... Yes. Is, then we're going to take some string, like about the same length, so that the balloons are hanging at the same length. Yep. Mm-hmm. So that is like the same length. Hmm. Um, let me cut from here. Then, oh, this is too long. Looks like it's too long. Okay, let's make it shorter. So I cut, and then there we go. So tie one balloon, mm -hmm. then I tie the other one. Okay. Make sure you don't loosen it out. So tie. Oopsie. <laughs> Mine has left. My knot has left the building. <laughs> there we go. How are you having better luck than I am? Yes, I am. Oh gosh. So I'm not. Get on, yeah. Yes. So let's see. Are they the same length? So then, what we will do? Mm -hmm. We'll tie. I'll tie one side here, and we must make sure that they're the same length. So I tie um, on one end of the ruler. Can you see? On one end of the ruler. So then they must hang. And then yours? Type so that they're equal length. Make sure they're no. This is, make sure they're equal length. The higher? Okay. There. Yes, tight. So they feel like it will be longer. Okay, cool. Then one for them. Okay. So now they should be a bit separate. Oh no, but I think it's not tight. No, it's fine. Then what I want you to do mm -hmm. is blow real hard in between the two balloons. In between? Yes. <laughs> okay. Blow again. In between. Wait, wait, wait. Let them stop moving. Okay. I'm this shaky, but okay. Blow. In between. What, <laughs> what happens when you blow in between the two balloons? The. The. <laughs> okay, blow again. <laughs> no! Okay, blow again. Wait, wait, okay, blow. Blow. Why? The air particles are really in a rush when the air zooms by a surface, like an airplane wing, like fast cars, 
The air has no time to push on the surface and just sits there so that not as much air weight gets on the surface. Less weight means less force on the area. This causes a less or lower pressure region wherever there is faster air. The air pressure is lowered as you blow between the balloons. The air surrounding the balloons that is not really moving is now at a higher pressure and pushes the balloons together. I hope you at home were able to do this fun experiment. This is all we have for you today. See you next time on Funky Science. Bye!